Hi everyone, Fryphone here, and today I've got a little red team tip for you. Has Defender got you down? Sometimes it gets me down, but what I've realized is that I can just say no. Now I love this little neat utility. Uh, if any of you have ever installed a third-party AV to get around Defender, things like Avast or, or some of the third-party AVs, just to get around Defender to kind of cripple it, then you will understand this technique. This technique is a new tool called No Defender from, I'll butcher this, Eason 1N. <laughs> but this is neat. What it does is register a broken AV to ensure that you can get around Defender, right? Many of us have done this technique before. But this just makes it quite simple, and Defender is definitely not picking up on it, so I will show you how this works. But really cool, uh, kind of hot off the presses. You can see this is really new, uh, commits as recent as 17 hours ago. So take a look at this if Defender's getting you down. So we'll start with ensuring Defender is working. How do we ensure Defender is working? We're going to download Mimikatz from Nishang. I don't think it gets much better of a test than that, right? So we'll download Mimikatz from Nishang, and we immediately get this script contains malicious content and has been blocked by your antivirus software. Well, many of you know, I don't like being blocked by EDR. So what we're going to do is we're going to run no Defender, and we're going to register uh, the fake AV, and then it's going to allow us to run. As we can take a look here, see real-time protections turned on, cloud delivery protection, I always leave automatic sample submission turned off. Uh, you can say that's not a fair test, but sorry, it's not going to eat my tools. And then tamper protection on. So most everything is on here except automatic sample submission. It still will try to manually submit samples, but it just doesn't do it in an automatic fashion and eat my beacons. So in this case, we're just quite simply going to run no defender loader.exe. Now this is something you need to compile. There's quite a few files that go along with this. Uh, as you can see, I have a whole zip, but there's the loader, PDB, all of these DLLs, hooking, and then there's the wscproxy.exe, and you can tell that this is from Avast, right? They're using the Avast EDR. So we'll go ahead and run this. It's gonna prompt us, and it's gonna take a little bit, but the WSC proxy is gonna go in, into place. It's then gonna tell Defender, hey, I'm the EDR now, not you, I'm the EDR. And then we'll be able to run our invoke meme cats and uh oh, that ran. And we'll just go back up here to invoke meme cats. And in a second, you'll see the familiar meme cats logo. And there we go. How to get by Defender with ease. Now, you have to have a lot of control to do this, right? This has to be an assumed breach style test. You have to be able to download executables. You have to be able to load a bunch of files. Uh, you have to bypass UAC in a lot of cases. So you, you really do need to be an admin already in most cases for this. But if you're already an admin and Defender's getting you down, just say no. And that's all I have for you this week. Thanks. Thanks for everyone who's watching. We're probably going to cross the 4,000 subscriber mark, which is awesome. Uh, thank you for your continued patronage of my YouTube channel. And I hope to keep giving you these awesome, you know, quick tips and tradecraft. So once again, hack the planet to defend better.